Hi ladies, I wanted to talk to you this week about the three things that I'm doing at home while salons are closed. I love to get a good blowout. It is my thing. I really do love it and it's really horrible that my blowout bar is closed. <laughs> and so I'm like, why? And I love to get my nails done. I have to get pedicures. I'm not a fan of pedicures. Please don't judge me, but I have to get them done, right? Get those calluses off, get those toenails looking cute. And also I have to keep up on my skincare. So I typically get services done. I get a lot of facials done and micro needling done and all kinds of things that I absolutely adore. And again, my med spa is closed. So here are three things that I have been doing that have really been working for me. And I'm gonna share them with you now. If you could please hit subscribe and add me to your arsenal of boss babes here on YouTube, I would appreciate it. And if you are interested in hearing my three at-home remedies, please keep watching. Okay, my first thing that I'm doing at home while my nail salons are closed, I like to have my nails done. I I'm working with clients, I'm still working, and I can't go with what my nails actually look like under here. I'm a picker, I'm a, I, it's a terrible, terrible habit, and I know, but it's much better if I have my nails done. I typically get acrylics, and then I stop doing those, and I started doing gels. Um, so these are really, really cool. I have picked up these from my drugstore, Kiss Gel Fantasy Nails. Now these are not Grandma's Press On Nails. These are actual nails that come with a nail glue. They're phenomenal. And what I like about the Kiss Nails is they give you so many different sizes because some of us have round nail beds, some of us are square, some of us have small nails, larger nails and it just provides a really good fit. You're gonna be sure that you get that good fit. Also, when you're wearing these, I wear them for about a week and a half to two weeks. I carry my glue with me, so if a nail happens to pop off because I was moving furniture or something, I could pop it right back on. But it gives me a nice look. I feel pretty when my nails are done. This is just how I roll and I get a lot of compliments on them. Oh my gosh, where are you getting your nails done? My salons are closed and I'm like, Psst. <laughs> go to your drugstore and pick up Kiss. They have a whole line. Look at how cute. Look at all of those that they offer. I get them in short black. I get them in long French, um, peach, white, this nice rusty kind of apricot color, I guess. Absolutely beautiful coffin shape. Love that. So they're, they're really, really a lot of fun and you definitely need to try it. You're going to see a little thing up here. These L for long, you're also going to see an M for a middle length and then an S for short. There are so many different styles. It is a definite thing that you need to try. You're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Okay, the next thing that I'm doing at home, I love a good blowout. I have very huge spiral curly hair in real life, and um, so I do flat iron a lot, but a, a lot of times I do like to get a good blowout, and they will last me for about four days. So in the interim, I found this baby. I love this and I kept the box so that I could show you. It is the three in one interchangeable hair dryer brush. And what it does is it does drying, straightening, curling, volumizing all in one step. So when it says three in one, it's this. You get this big, gorgeous barrel round brush, obviously great for getting that blowout. But prior to doing that, I like to blow out about three quarters dry. So I do it with the hair dryer. I start with this and it's a more concentrated air. It's not just air blowing everywhere. So you can really, you know, not get your hair all frizzy and weird. You can start taming it to be 
ready to get smoothed. And then if you have shorter hair or if you're sport and fringe like I am, then it has the smaller barrel round brush and that helps you get in there and go a little tighter on your fringe. But this, mm, 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 absolutely gorgeous. And it gives me, you know, you can get height on the back of your head here. I like it when it raises a little bit. You can get face framing, and this is not a blowout, so I'm not trying to show you that, that I'm straight right now, but it really gives you that gorgeous, gorgeous look. And so this was a game changer. I got it on Amazon. And I would definitely suggest giving it a shot. The last thing that I'm doing has to do with my skincare, but it's not skincare like my moisturizer or my cleanser or my toner. This is something that I usually do get done at my med spa and it is microneedling. I like derma rolling, microneedling, and it's this right here it does come in a case. This was extremely inexpensive and this is what it is. It's this little tool with little tiny needles. Now this is a 0.25 gauge needle. You don't want to go too long on your needle, particularly for your face. I'm waiting for a wider derma roller that I ordered for the body. And it's a 1.5 gauge. You do not want to exceed that for the body if you're doing this at home, particularly if you don't really know what you're doing or anything like that. You should do a 1.0 or a 1.5. But what this does is when you are derma rolling your skin, and in this case, your face, you are spot rolling and you're aerating your pores. So I start by putting my hyaluronic acid serum on my face entirely. Then after I've sanitized this in alcohol, let it air dry, I will go in and start doing my derma rolling. Now there's a way to do it. You want to be careful doing it. I will show you a little bit here. When you are derma rolling, you don't have to press hard. It's doing the work all on its own. You want to find your space that you're doing and just go back and forth 10 times. Do not move it around other than the back and forth roll. And then you want to change direction. So you're going to remove it from your skin before you do that. Do not twist this on your skin. You will tear your skin and you will complete the X in the same area. Go over that 10 times. Okay and I pretend I've done that 10 times. Remove it from your skin, and now you're gonna go up and down, same area, 10 times, remove it, and then back and forth. So we've created an X and then a cross in that area. And you wanna do that in the larger areas of your face. When you get you know, around the eye area, you're not gonna be going back and forth, and you're just going to swipe, long strokes and careful okay do that 10 times i like to do the chin the same way and you can go back and forth on this do the same on the jaw on the forehead you don't have to go too hard on this and um, you will feel it and so once you get used to it <laughs> it'll be a little easier but you just kind of want to go up i particularly go here Again, you're not moving in different directions while it's on your skin. You will always take it away, turn it, and go. Now, this is where I have my, here you can see them, my lines that I get and what's going on in here. So I do, I don't really have like crow's feet or anything. I'm, I'm pr pretty, pretty good there. I still treat it. But what I do on these lines is I just go back and forth again 10 times and here, remove it. You can go up and down, slide it over, up and down, slide it over, up and down. And you wanna do the whole face. Once you're done doing that, pop this in your alcohol, let that sit for a moment and sanitize before you put it away. And then I will follow it up with another round of the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I'm not wiping it on. I will take this in my hand and I will pat it in. 
and you're just gonna let that really dry, really soak in. You're gonna see a lot of plumping, it's gonna feel good. And if you do that about once a week, you're gonna start seeing some changes in your skin. You're gonna see plumping, because what's happening is, again, when you're aerating your skin, it's finding a need to heal, for lack of a better word. And when your body goes into heal mode, it starts producing that collagen and then you start seeing the plumping and the fine lines are going away and it's just an amazing thing. You truly will see that. It's phenomenal. And when I get my body roller, we're going to do a little experiment. Um, and hopefully you join me on that because I'm actually really excited about it. Really follow the guidelines though about what I was just telling you in terms of how to use it, but you're really going to see some, some great changes. I think you will be so shocked, so surprised. So I hope you like that. That's my three things that I'm doing at home during this C19 quarantine masking up life. And I hope you walked away with something. If so, please hit the like button. That helps my channel grow and please hit subscribe and I will see you next week.